this absolutely beautiful morning here on Anna Maria Island. Looks like there's some fish blowing up over here on these baits. First plan of attack is to go go get on some bait and then after bait um, we'll go ahead and uh, work some new areas today. I'm gonna be trying some new spots. I might pop offshore, just depends on how flat it is. From the looks of the wind and the forecast and the marine forecast, looks like it's gonna be absolute glass out there. And if it is, I might send it this morning for just a little bit, just a little, just a little mini send. Um, I don't like to send it too far with uh, with just me being in the boat, but it's a, it's a solo day on the water and I'm excited to get some of this therapy little therapy session out on the water and uh, it should be great. So hope you guys are having a wonderful day and uh, it should be a great, great, great day of fishing. All right guys, we're just now pulling up to our first spot. Not too far offshore. Controlling motor in the water. Let's get my first bait on. Little free line flat, little flat line bait. Send it off the back, see what happens. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? I just got cut off. Nice, look at that. That is awesome. Woohoo! We used to call these guys rainbows runners in the water. They look a lot like, actually a couple of trips back, we were really confusing these for yellowtails. But uh, I thought I had some yellowtails jumping up behind the boats, but these are absolutely beautiful, man. I mean, they do have a yellowtail though bright yellow tail but we used to call them rainbow runners comment in the comments below what you guys call them these are actually delicious to eat come on baby there he is it feels like another one yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a nice one. It's a really nice one. Look at that one. Woohoo! Yes. That's a nice one. Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes. I'm keeping him in the boat. All right. How lit up that guy is. Yoo Beautiful. There we go. There's one. There we go. beautiful these guys are. Oh, you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh, the second it hit the water. Oh, I got cut off, that's why, Barracuda. All right, since I got cut off, I might as well show you what kind of hooks I'm using. I'm using the 3.0 circle hooks and just a light leader. I don't even know what this is, 20 pound, 30 pound, something like that. And uh, just regular fisherman's knot. Nothing too fancy, but it's getting the job done. 
all we need it to do. Look at all these baits, guys. Absolutely loaded the well this morning. Yes, sir. I am on them now. They're eating. Woohoo! There he is. Yes. 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 Oh, man, that was another nice one. There we go. Whew. Look how lit up those are. There's another one. at this first spot we're fishing this little reef system and it's just a flat day and it's absolutely loaded out here with fish and uh that was a blast caught a ton of rainbow runners probably bring that back to the house and cook it up but before then it's so early it's literally like i think it's like 9 15 right now i think i'm gonna scoot on in uh over by the island and uh and go explore a little bit see what else we can get into Woo! What an amazing morning. About an hour straight crushing fish. What a blast. Woo, let's go. All right. Got to this new spot. Not really sure what this is, but sure is fighting. <laughs> yeah. Just got an absolute nice, nice, beautiful mango, mango snapper. Wow. Beautiful mangrove snapper on the reef. Check out that one. Right on the reef system. Beautiful fish right there. Wow. Amazing. You can't beat that. We got a really good dinner box going. Nice circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. I got two flat lines off that side of the boat because the current's kind of taking it that way. And then right here, I'm actually dropping down baits on the knocker rig, get it down to the bottom on this reef system. And uh, been getting some good bites in the bottom in between me getting smoked on these, ro these rods over here are getting smoked, but I just keep on getting cut off. And I don't want to stop fishing mono because I think that's how I'm getting the hits is mono uh, leader so I'm just gonna keep at it and hopefully one of those circle hooks does its job right and gets him in the corner of the mouth without without me getting cut off that was another bite out there I think he's on this one. Oh yeah he is <laughs> yes sir there we go oh my gosh Did you guys Look at this fire scooter. Nice Spanish mackerel. I'm actually going to go ahead and catch and release him today. Got plenty of good meat in the box already. There we go. Another nice mangrove snapper.
Can't beat that. It's a beauty. All right, we just got back to the boat ramp. Probably gonna clean these fish up, head on back to the house. Brittany and I are gonna have some fish tacos tonight and uh, that'll probably wrap it up, but I'm gonna clean these fish really quick and I'll see you guys back at the house to cook up these fish. Now I'm back home, about to give the boat a little wash down and the engine a little static flush. That's what I do. Not sure what you guys do. Comment in the comments below what you guys do after you guys are done boating. It's a very simple recipe. And what we do is we light fry the fish, uh, which is, is the rainbow runner that we had. And then we put some uh, cilantro, some avocado, some red onions, some tomatoes, and some, uh, some cabbage. Um, and and a little bit of sour cream but it's just such a simple fresh tasting recipe it's absolutely amazing and these chips that you see in the sides are actually with a little bit of guacamole on it and these chips and guacamole are made from a place called debt wilers and if you're um if you're local to here you would know about that if you're not local you would not know about that because debt wilers is kind of like a local owned and operated family owned business um but it's basically like um it's basically like fresh farm food um and we do a lot of our shopping there so that's kind of where we got all the ingredients for this but it looks absolutely amazing and i'm definitely going to be taking a taster bite while i have you guys on here let's see I, i'm a super fan of cilantro some people like this cilantro Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. You cannot. Mmm. Hold on. When it comes to fresh fish, it almost doesn't matter how you cook it. As long as it's fresh, what I do is I catch my fish, I put it right into an ice bath on the boat, which means. I put a little salt water, a little bit of fresh ice, and it goes into an ice bath and it is absolute it's almost rock hard when we get it back to the docks and it makes it really easy to make really clean precision fillets and then bring it back to the house and cook it. And I cooked this literally about 30 minutes after I got back to the house. All I did was came home, I washed the boat really quick cuz I have a charter trip tomorrow. And then I went in, took a quick shower, and I prepared this fish, and it was already filleted because I filleted it up at the dock, and it was good to go. But this is absolutely an amazing dish to have together, just some, some chips, some fresh guac, and some fish tacos, and it is delicious. Huge thumbs up. If you get a chance, try this. If you guys like this episode, I hope you did. Please give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys here in just a few days. Oh baby, I, I wanted you to be here Inside my arms, where the night goes down